Tigers, welcome into another edition of Inside Tigers Lacrosse. I'm your host, Chris Sawyer, and as always, we're here with head coach Jay Rostan. Coach, been busy, busy, really week and a half since we've been on, on the air. Uh, welcome in again. Thank you. All right, let's, let's get into it. I've uh, got my notes here. Uh, we had the rescheduled game with Farron. Uh, you went, guys went up there 23-3, uh, to uh, to three, excuse me, another offensive, you know, uh, offensive show that you guys did. But one of the things I wanted to post on before you talk about that, Again, you outshot them 49-22, but this is going to be a theme in this show. Your clear opportunities, you were 19 for 19, perfect 100% on clears, which we talked about in the last show, sets up your offense uh, to get these, you know, the 23 goals. So talk about that, um, the play of your team, but but that particularly to set you guys up for what you want to do in that game. Right, yeah, that's been great. I didn't even realize that, yeah. to, to be honest. But no, I think, uh, you know, we've got a really experienced kind of back end with our, with our defense, and, uh, you know, I know, a lot of guys are like really confident with their sick work back there right now. Uh, you know, a lot of juniors and seniors that are playing on that back end. And, uh, like we're fortunate with some some D middies that can really handle the ball and, and route as well. So, um, you know, I think that's that's definitely helped us this year a lot. I think also you know having Will Perry in the cage too really throws a throws a great ball. We've been able to get the ball out quickly in a lot of these games. It's been it's been key. Absolutely, and you know that game allowed you guys uh, Coons and Mitchell. Um, scored three goals each, so it gives some of the guys that we don't write about all the time get in and, and score. But talk about the play of some of the other guys stepping up. It's not always going to be Claggett and Duffy that, that score those goals for you. Right, yeah. I thought uh, really the last three games, you know, were really some great opportunities for uh, for a lot of our young guys to get some great experience. And, uh, um, you know, a lot of times we don't get those games three in a row, you know, like that. And uh, it's been nice to really see some some of our young guys kind of kind of come along and uh, be able to get a lot of minutes on the field and, and have some opportunities for themselves. And you talk about the opportunities you guys came back, played Randolph, won nineteen to one. Again, another great opportunity to get your team in there. You guys had you jumped out in the first quarter. I don't know if you know this, you scored nine goals in the first quarter. So again, another you took off from that Farm game right, right into Randolph and did it. And again, you got you guys were uh, fifteen for, for fifteen on clears again. So again, another opportunity next year kind of stepped up in that game for you guys and then your face-offs too I know um in some of the losses you guys have taken the face-offs haven't been there but that game you guys really dominated on the on the face-offs yeah I think we've kind of yeah it, it took us some time but we've kind of figured that that thing out a little bit Presley Miller's jumped in you know as a senior and, um you know he's, he's one of those guys he does so much for us in the middle of the field that you know it, sometimes you don't want him taking 20 a game type of thing but uh, he's really come in and has been able to give us, you know, between 10 to 15 faceoffs in the game and still have his wheels in the middle of the field at the, at the midi as well. So that's been nice. I think it's been a nice combination with, with Connor Kilfeather. He's been yeah. able to, to mix things up a little bit and, and uh, create a scrap in the middle of the field for balls. So it's been good. And you talk about that because now we go to the Wesleyan game that we just had yesterday. Um, you did. I mean, it, he got in there. You, you were kind of rotated a little bit. Uh, but then it looked like you were more consistent on who you had coming in for the face-offs. But again, had a great uh, a great game there. And then I mentioned Clagan and Duffy. It can't always be them, but it was them yesterday against Wesley. Combined for 10 goals, five apiece. You guys jumped out. I believe it was another nine, um, nine goal uh, uh, quarter. But talk about the play. I mean, you guys have kind of won three in a row now. It's getting into the really the thick of things towards the end of the season. I know this is the time you really want to peak. And it looks like right now your offense – in your defense, but you, you're really um, able to put the ball in the net. Right, yeah. That, I felt, you know, Sean and, and Bobby really came out hot yesterday. It was nice. I mean, I think that, that like, our, our team in general was just ready yesterday. Uh, uh, you know, you know how fast Wesleyan can, can run, and then they've got some players on offense. So we were, we were ready to come out hot, and those guys really led the way for us early and just kind of set the tone as, as, as captains. Got the thing rolling for us early. Well, you had one flaw in your 18 for 19 in the clears that game. But again, another, again, just three games you guys have put together 
Um, I think um, that you like, and then you're going into a big game with Randolph Baker. We'll talk about that at the end of the show. But um, you really are positioning yourself again, four and two in the ODAC. I know you're looking. You want to host the game here um, to begin the tournament. But overall, as we before we talk to Jack Vector, let's um, let's kind of summarize those games and what you see for your team and and where you see they're starting to grow and, and being able to to put together those three straight wins. Right. Yeah. I, I thought we needed those three. Really. I think uh, you know we we started out with a pretty tough. Tough schedule early, and that was good for us. And uh, you know, but we needed to get some some more, a few more guys involved. And I thought that was just great from an experience standpoint for for a lot of our, you know, not just young guys, but guys that were really like right on the verge of playing in some of those big games. And uh, you know, I think it, from a you know, team morale standpoint and everything else, heading into this big stretch coming up, um, I think it's going to hopefully pay dividends, dividends for us. And before we get to Jack, the one thing I did want to mention. You've had an opportunity to kind of do a goalkeeper by committee here um, in these games. But talk about getting um, your younger guys the experience. You know, Will Perry, you know, great goalkeeper, but pulling him out and putting some of the other guys in to get some experience that I know will pay off in the future. Yeah, uh, awesome to be able to get guys in. I mean, again, that like those guys deserve deserve to play too. I mean, standing in the cage every day in practice and taking shots—that's not not an easy thing to do. But Peter Smith's really had a nice year as well. And, uh, you know, was able to get a lot of minutes the last few games, and uh, you know, and, our, and then our freshmen, uh, you know, Connor McMullen, um, Owen Hagenor, Charlie Hassett, and, and, and Hope uh, coming in, uh, yeah, did it, did a nice job, and certainly deserved it to, to get some good time in there. Well, that's right. All right, we're going to talk to Jack real quick, and then we're going to come back and we'll, we'll uh, preview Randolph. Maybe. Sounds All great, right, coach. All right, thanks. Roll Tigers. Hey Tigers, we are back with junior Jack Fector from Potomac, Maryland. Uh, Jack, welcome into Inside Tigers Lacrosse. Uh, glad to have you here. Hey, we just talked to Coach about your three games. Uh, we talked about the offense a lot, but you're on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. And what I mentioned, sometimes you guys don't get all the credit, but if you really look at our stats this year, you are uh, guys are forcing a lot of turnovers, especially in the last three games. I mean, I think um, if you really look at everything, it, it, you guys have you know 11 goals, maybe 11, 12 goals in three games that. Um, the defense has allowed. Uh, talk about the play of your defense and setting up that offense to, to really go on those scoring runs. Yeah, definitely. I mean, our team has been playing together for a while now. We got a lot of upperclassmen in that back end, which is huge. And I think a lot of those calls, turnovers, and ground balls, just you know come from playing well as a team, as a unit. You know, whether that's forcing someone to turn around, we get a double, put the ball on the ground, or driving, getting uh, you know sticks on hands, turn, making them throw bad passes, just allowing our defense to get upfield and get the ball back to the offense. And for you guys, you've had um, Henry Hitt went out. So you, you guys, have, um, you had your core group, and now it's changed a little bit. But talk about um, your teammates coming in and stepping up on that. And really, there's really been no drop off. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jack Lamone has done a great job coming down low. You know, playing position, he's not you know as familiar with his uh, LSM. He's done a great job. Thomas Harry stepped up. You know, started playing some LSM, playing some wings, wreaking havoc in the middle of the field. Those kids, you know, are doing a great job for Henry. Henry's still out there, you know, helping us on the sideline, right. giving us, you know, getting us hyped before games. But those kids stepping in has, have been a huge part of our success this season. You know, let's talk about this. You're a junior. Uh, been here for a couple of years. Hampton City's a special place. Um, what was your decision-making process to come here? I'm sure you're recruited by some other schools, but coming down from Maryland, what really drew you to be a Tiger? Um, out of all the ODAC schools, I talked to a couple of the ODAC, other ODAC schools when I uh, you know, getting recruited, and definitely, you know, first time I came on campus, it just seemed, you know, a lot more friendly, a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more people were, you know, super kind. I remember pulling up to the admissions office, and um, my name, you know, was on a TV. It was like, hey, Sydney Lacrosse, welcome to Jack Factor. I was like, that's awesome. And then I think the time I, you know, officially decided to come was uh, we beat Oak in uh, my junior year of high school. We beat Roanoke in during Greek Week last. You know, I think it was six, seven, something around there. In the last five seconds, we scored. And uh, I was like, you know, yeah, the atmosphere was electric, and I was, I'm sold. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, again, yeah, this, this is a great place to be. All right, so let's look ahead. Um, you got a big one, uh, Randolph Macon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always a rivalry. Uh, yeah, with uh, Macon and Hampton Sydney. But again, four and two in the ODAC. This is a really big game for you guys on the road. Position yourself. You've been moving up in the standings every game you win. But talk about what you expect from that game. I mean, everyone in the conference knows Hampton Sydney Randolph Macon. You know, one of the biggest games. 
And uh, they're great, great offense, solid defense. And um, they like to push the ball in transition. And I think we're going to come up with a good game plan, play fast, play loose, and uh, hopefully come out for win. All right, well, best of luck to you. Thank All you. All right, thank you, Jack, it. for joining us. Roll Tigers. All right, welcome back, Tigers. A great interview with Jack. Uh, you know, another quality player every week. You got you, uh, you just shows what quality players, student athletes you have here at Hampton Sydney. But he just talked about Macon, so let's get into that. Randolph Macon, you headed over to Ashland, one o'clock on Saturday. As always, go to hscathletics.com. It'll be live streamed uh, for everybody to watch. But hey, Macon seven to five, uh, no pushover, as you know. Uh, always, uh, they're averaging fourteen goals a game. They got a, a midfielder scoring forty three goals and attack them twenty six. How do you shut that down? I mean, we just talked about defense. I mean, how do, how do you kind of get a hold of those guys? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think just watching Macon this year, I think it's I think it's the best team they've had in, in 15 years, really. Do. They've got a lot of experience. I think four of their top five scorers are, are seniors. So, um, yeah, and then the, 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 the player that you mentioned with, with 43 goals, um, I just think it's a, it's a balanced attack unit for them. He can really shoot the ball. They've got a quick... You know, quick attackman, quarterback style guy behind the net. Um, you know, and then an, another attackman who can really go with power to the cage. Um, they're well coached. They play a very deliberate offense. Um, understand how important it is to have the ball, and uh, and they mix up their defense as well too. So uh, it's uh, it, it's going to be a great game. We're excited about it, and uh, you know, as always, great great rivalry and. Um, Big game in the ODAC this year, especially for the for the seedings. You know, we talk about the players a lot, but you guys as a coaching staff, I mean, how do you get ready for this game? Um, you know, it's big, everyone's hyped about it, but you got to keep your players, you know, it's just another game that they're going on the road for. But talk about the, you know, not the magnitude, but how you kind of keep them grounded and how you guys prepare for this. Yeah, I mean, in the end, it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big game. It's a regular season game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you just got to look at it as a as a as another big game, another opportunity. I mean, I think we'll lean our, on our tradition, you know, um, in, in any of these rivalry games, and uh, you know, I think the, the players understand how, how important it is, and uh, you know, how important it is for for our season and for our alumni and and, and everybody else. So I think uh, you know, guys are excited, and uh, you know, um, we'll, we'll definitely. Be it was the start of a couple game road trip before you come here and end the yep. season. So uh, best of luck at Randolph Macon. Again, hscathletics.com. Don't miss it. Uh, it's going to be a big one. Coach, we will talk to you uh, next week. Thanks All a right, lot. Thanks. All right, appreciate it. Roll Tigers.